Breaking over a crime scene? Oh, I messed it up, didn't I? Now, in the early days when we were chasing you, not realizing you were one of the good guys, you and I came to an agreement. We worked together to make Gotham safer. I lost my head the other day. I want you to know I'm sorry. I cracked, like I said I would when Waller first moved in. I said and did some things I'm not proud of. You were just doing what you thought was right, Jim. There's nothing to apologize for. You're a good man for saying that. I've missed this too. Batman, got something. It's a faint signal. Controller to the shot callers that Waller is using on the Pact. Damaged. Can you isolate the signal from this device? Sure, but why? I've seen what these callers can do. Might come in handy. Electrical burns. From the agency guns? Hmm. They were firing wildly. Sure, Riddler would like the new decor. This Joker guy going nuts. I heard it started with Riddler's murder, but he's blaming Waller for it. Wouldn't actually surprise me. Riddler's murder? Really? But maybe it was always just a matter of time before he snapped. Joker's Mark. W.D. Willie Deaver, Joker's associate. What do you have on him? Machinist by trade, with a storied employment history. He's been fired from almost every factory and chemical plant in Gotham. Has a drinking problem, apparently. Chemical plants? Huh. Let me cross-reference Willie Deaver's former employers with paint used on Joker's car. Ace Chemicals. Their main plant was shut down last year after the city cited them for multiple safety violations. Because of the paint. The plant's been abandoned ever since. Perfect hiding spot. We found him. Well, well, well. What's all this then? A bat and a walking mustache trespassing on my crime scene. You escaped. <laughs> You got it all wrong, baddie boy. I'm here on agency business. <sighs> For the love of God. That's right. I'm one of the good guys now. So hand over everything you found before I knock out those pearly whites. In the name of the law. Batman, we don't have time to mess around with this clown. Make time, copper. You all take orders from me now. I don't take orders from you, Quinn. Stand down. Let me show you how things work around here now, Batsy. This is Agent Quinn, suppressing fire. Are 
convinced I can save their director from Big Bad Joker. They'll do anything for me. So all you gotta do is tell me where John took her so I can get back to my job. After all, Johnny Boy and I are due for a nice long talk. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> and here I thought being diplomatic would work with you people. Oh well, I'll try something you can understand. You cops can't just shoot people like that! I'm off duty. Hello? What's the girl gotta do to get some firepower in here? The hell? Latoya! Got it, sir. What the hell do you think you're doing? Sending you off to Blackgate, where you belong. <laughs> oh, please! The agency isn't gonna let me sit in a cell. I'm an asset! I'm gonna get what I want, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it! You can't touch me, Bats. I'm the one in control here. You think you're in control? You'll live the rest of your life under the Agency's thumb. No, that ain't how this works! I'm doing this thing on my terms, no one else's. Now tell that to Waller when she gets back in the office. Go find Joker before he carves up Waller. I'll clean up this mess. Have your people hold back until I call them. Waller's life may depend on a stealthy approach. <sighs> Batman. Good hunting. on Joker and Waller. Doesn't look like he's hurt her. Not yet. Say the word if you need help. Thanks. Bruce, I know you and Waller have your differences, but she doesn't deserve this. I take complete responsibility. Louder. So the camera can pick it up. It took you long enough. Batman! Thank God! I mean, I assumed you'd be okay. You're Batman, for Pete's sake. But still, are you okay, buddy? I was really worried about you. 
I'm fine. Of course you are. No way would a couple pesky bombs take you out. <laughs> Things got crazy on that roof, huh? I had to do something. Waller was about to walk away. But get this. I'm this close to getting Waller to admit to every terrible thing she's ever done. And when that's over, I'll deliver her punishment. It'll, of course, have to reflect the enormity of her crimes. The only enormity I'm seeing is your jail sentence. Waller needs to go to trial. Maybe spend the rest of her life in a cell. But not whatever this is. Do you know how long that would take? You know, I, I don't know why you're not more into this. Think of everything she's put you through! Everyone is disposable to her! Even her own agent. I know I've made mistakes. You try to do the right thing, but there's always a cost. Just ask your pal Batman there. He'll say the same thing. I do what I do for a reason. I'm not ashamed. I've made tough calls myself. I understand. What?! God, I cannot believe you'd buy any of her crap! Clearly, we need to keep moving along. We've heard your excuses. You didn't mean for people to get hurt. Collateral damage, yada yada yada. But there's one crime that can't be excused. You killed the Riddler! And then you tried to pin it on me! I didn't kill him. Like I said, it was you! You killed Riddler! Say it! I will not. If there's one thing I learned by watching you, violence solves a lot of problems! You need a distraction. Well, I get my confession. The way Boss talked about you, I thought you'd be bigger. Your way. I want to just slice her throat right here, right now. But I'm getting proof of her guilt just for you. This isn't about justice. You have a grudge against her. That's the only reason you're doing any of this. A grudge? Batman? She tried to kill me. I told you why I'm doing this, but you aren't listening. You're never listening. Just saying what you think will control me. Just like Waller. She justifies her crimes. Says they're for the greater good. Just like you. You both use that word, justice, as an excuse. So you can do whatever you want. I thought you and I were two threads in the same stitch. I'm nothing like Waller. You're either lying or stupid, Bats. I don't know why I didn't see it sooner. Trying to do things your way was a mistake. Waller killed Riddler. <gasps> and she deserved death. It wasn't Waller. Tiffany, what are you doing here? I can't let someone else pay for my crimes. Waller didn't kill Riddler. I did. I know it was wrong. Now. Oh God, are you kidding me? These 
are the people you want to protect. I should kill them both. Everyone here is guilty. <laughs> this, is a, this is a joke. Get back, Tiffany. No, I've kept this in the dark for too long. I used a drone and these. There's your proof. You want to sacrifice yourself for Waller? Then go ahead. <laughs> Just hold on. Murder is wrong. Trust the system. Violence isn't the answer. People just pick and choose what they believe. And you're no different. Everything we've been through together. This is how it is. I'll get you help. I won't abandon you. You want me to go back to the beginning? To Arkham? Where it all started? I've come so far since then, Batman. Because of you. I believe. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
That's it. I really wanted to be a hero, you know? <laughs> but I, I, I just can't. I know you used me. I, I know. I should hate you for that. <laughs> but I, I don't. Good time with you, Bruce. <laughs> did... did you... ever... Did you ever... think of me... as your friend? Like... a, a true friend? So, someone... you actually... C c care about? Of course. Of course you were my friend. <laughs> you are one messed up guy. You too. I think the circumstances allow. Gordon was telling me how you found me. Sounds like top drawer detective work. It was a team effort. Batman led the charge. It's not easy to say this, but it looks like you saved my life. I guess that puts me in your debt. It's what I do. I save people. It's a shame we couldn't have saved more. I've got a lot of unpleasant phone calls to make. Jim, would you mind giving us a minute? Batman and I have some unfinished business. I'll go check on Joker's transfer, make sure they don't take any chances. Just try not to rip each other's heads off, okay? We can all play nice now that the bad guy's in cuffs. You don't have to worry. Our stalemate from the roof still stands. I'm pulling out of Gotham effective immediately. Then why are we still talking? Tiffany Fox. Riddler's death may have caused a lot of problems, but I won't make her pay for it. I'll leave that to the man who can't stand killing. 
I know you think I'm the devil, but I want you to understand. I didn't want... I didn't see things going down like this. I let the mission get out from under me. Never really regained a solid footing. Watch out, Waller. Or you might stumble onto an actual apology. You let me talk, we might get there. I just came here to round up the pact. Quick and easy. And if Riddler led you to Sanctus, that would have been a bonus. Listen. Everything I did, I did for the greater good. To protect Gotham, to uphold the law, to make the world a safer place. Whatever your reasons, you went too far. You escalated things on the bridge. You got people killed. And coming after me? What were you thinking? You sided with that maniac. What was I supposed to do? Give you a medal? You act so high and mighty. At the end of the day, you're just a rich guy with all the toys beating up on lunatics. I deal with criminals who threaten my city. You're so far up your own ass, you can't see the truth. You're as nuts as any of them. Avesta had you paid the minute she walked in your office. She started listing off your pals. All those friends of yours who went cuckoo. Get out of Gotham while you still can. No! Everything okay? We're done here. Signal the withdrawal. I'm not gonna miss her, that's for sure. So, here we are, once again. Gotham safe because of you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty good getting my hands dirty. Just like old times, huh? Truth is, after I got ousted, I didn't know my place anymore. Turned into an old guy in civvies, lurking around crime scenes. We have to work together, Jim. Solve cases. Lock up the scum who terrorize our streets. I'd like that. So would I. Oh, uh, I gotta take this. Wife probably saw the news. <laughs> See you around, Batman. Don't be a stranger. Tiffany, we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. You're hurt. It's nothing. I saw you take much worse. Joker was going to cut Waller ear to ear. I had to create a distraction. It was certainly distracting. My confession. It took you by surprise, didn't it? I just couldn't keep it in anymore. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder? I know! I'm sorry. 
I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. I had to do something to take back control. Please tell me you get that. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it. But I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together? If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. You need someone to teach you. you you're giving me a second chance? Think of it more as a sentence. You'll have to work hard for your redemption. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You can't leave me, Alfred. I know things have been hard, but they'll get Bruce, better. please, don't try and stop me. My decision is already made. Your protestations, well, they won't make things any easier. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. Come on, Alfred. You know I can't do what I do, what we do, without your help. But well, maybe you don't have to do it at all. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore, at least not to me. Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. I'll admit that wasn't our finest moment, but at the time it seemed like our best course of action. Precisely my point. Our best judgment is no longer good enough. You empowered John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away, inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. What's your point? Sometimes it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. How many whiskeys is that, Alfred? <laughs> Not nearly enough. Anyone who comes into contact with us 
suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Do you really think I'm that bad? <sighs> no, no, I'm sorry, Bruce. That's not what I meant at all. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you, not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Alfred, these comparisons... You knew the evil my father was capable of. You think you see that in me? I said nothing about evil, Bruce. Then what are you saying? I'm saying you'll end up in the same place. Face down in an alley. Shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I've failed you, and for that I'm sorry. Alfred, I'm... <laughs> I'm nothing without you. You're my father. The best father anyone could have hope for. A good father wants his children to be happy and safe. Seeing how far you are from either, it's why I have to go. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. be Batman and that will never change I know rubbish goes out on Tuesday and there's lasagna in the freezer I'm sure you'll manage
visitor for John Doe. Bruce!